Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have eight statements and we're supposed to tell them why we can make these eight statements. We have one postulate and three terms dealing with two parallel lines and a transversal. Notice we've kind of scrambled numbers around a little bit from our normal ordering, but here we're told, for example, that angle one is congruent to angle five. Why can we say that? So here's angle one and here's angle five. Notice that these are what we call corresponding angles. And the postulate of corresponding angles tells us that if they're corresponding, then they must have the same measure, therefore they are congruent. And so we can say so, we can make this first statement here because we know the postulate of corresponding angles. The second statement tells us that angle two is congruent to angle seven. So here's angle two and here's angle seven. The theorem of alternate interior angles tells us that they must be the same, they must have the same measure, therefore they are congruent, and so therefore we can make the statement based on the theorem of alternate interior angles. Angle 3 is congruent to angle 6. Here's angle 3, here's angle 6. These are alternate exterior angles, and by the theorem of alternate exterior angles, we know that they must therefore be the same. They have the same measure, therefore they are congruent. Angle 1 and angle 8, if they're to be congruent, we can say so because they're also what we call alternate exterior angles, and by the theorem of alternate exterior angles, they must have the same measure. Angle 4 and angle 5, are these two angles right here? They're alternate interior angles, and by the theorem of alternate interior angles, they have the same measure, therefore they are congruent. Now here we have that angle 2 and angle 5 are supplementary. Well, let's go look at angle 2 and angle 5. Notice there, they are consecutive interior angles. The theorem of consecutive interior angles tells us that their measures add up to 180 degrees, so by that theorem, we can claim that angle two and angle five are supplementary. Now we have angle three and angle seven. That's this angle here and this angle here. They are what we call corresponding angles. And by the postulate of corresponding angles, we know that their measure must be the same. Therefore, they must be congruent. And finally, angle four and angle seven are supplementary, which means their measures add up to 180 degrees. Take a look at angle four and angle seven. They are what we call consecutive interior angles. And by the, what we call the theorem of consecutive interior angles, we know that their measures must add up to 180 degrees. And so therefore we can claim that they must therefore also be supplementary. And that's how we know that these statements are indeed true, all eight of them. And that's how it's done.